Welcome back. We are the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. And I'm Sean. And tonight we're going to open a whiskey neither of us have ever had. This is Hancock's Reserve Presidential Nonsense. Don't know the name of it. Gonna have to cut that shit out. It is Hancock's <laughs> Presidential Reserve. Or President's Reserve. Yeah, wow, can't be getting it wrong. Yeah. So we'll just. Mother. We're opening the Hancock's President's Reserve. Um, this is the one of the uh, rare, now most of them are rare, but yeah. one of the rare bourbons from the number two mash bill from Buffalo Trace. Which is shares it uh, same mash bill with things as Elma T. Lee and Rock Hill Farms. And the internet tells us that Elma T. Lee is good, but our bottle would tell you different. True. Um, that'll be a, a different episode when we cover that whole also shenanigans. It know, also the, shares the shares with Blanton's and Ancient Age. Which we don't have on the shelf right now. Yeah, and I've never had Ancient Age. Um, I know Ancient Age is the cheapest of them. Um, also one of the hardest to find. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if they make it. I don't, actually don't know. Uh, you can find it on second hand, but um, it's, it's few and far between still. I think retail on Ancient Age is like $15. Yeah. It's like super cheap. This, I believe retail on this is supposed to be around 30. Uh, I paid 52 and I've only seen it once ever. I saw it, I went, hmm, never had it, whatever, who cares, let's buy it. We'll find out. Retail on this was like, I think in the 50s, I think I paid around 60, 60 for yeah. it. Um, Elmer 60. T. Lee, I paid 45 for. Everywhere I've seen Blanton's around 55 to 64 was the highest I mm -hmm. saw it, so. And it goes, it goes yeah. fast, it's good. Yeah. Um, so, tonight we will open this up. Try it and see if it's our favorite. Nashville number no, two. No, Nashville number two is what I tried. Yeah. Yeah. Which is around 15%. Oh. And uh, we're both not really big rye guys. Yeah. Um, it is the lowest. This is also the lowest. Of all of them, of the number two Nashville. Oh, no sleight of hand here. I'm just waiting for it to be all over that table. Well done, sir. Well done. Nailed it. It's definitely on the front of the bottle, so. Um, I don't think, actually, none of these uh, that I'm aware of have H statements on them. All right, let's, let's get into it. this. Our home good glasses. Ooh. Ooh, that smells so much like Rock Hill Farms to me. It doesn't to me, but Rock Hill Farms to me has a really distinct smell. I get like a bunch of um, green apple from Rock Hill Farms. So I usually, that's pretty distinctive for me. It smells pretty chilled to me, like pretty relaxed and not super offensive. I get a lot of sugar sweetness out of it. I get... I get some sweetness, but it's not like your typical vanilla caramel sweetness for me. No, it's more of a fruit sweetness. That okay, I'm definitely getting. I agree with that. Um, Maybe a little pear. That's the oh. fruit I would specify for some reason. Mm, it's like a fresh Florida pear. I'd say that's a three-quarter chopped pear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, chopped approximately 14 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. You ready to taste this? Yeah, I'm less excited. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a little let down by the old nose on her. Just it's not that strong to me. Oh gosh. You know what that tastes like to me, right? What? Ooh, it tastes bad to you? It's got a hint of it oh, in there. Oh wow, dude. Like, there's just a hint. Maybe it's not our bottle. Uh, no, because I don't get that. Oh. I'm gonna taste her again. Oh. I, I'm gonna go back. Um, Elmer T. Lee, for me, there is this just bright flavor that just comes right through cutting on my tongue, and it tastes like pond water. Now, before everybody's super pissed off, yep. that bottle legitimately, like, we opened it and tasted it right when we opened it, because when I found it, there was only one, and it was like, oh my gosh, it's big, fine, cool. Um, we, we took the cork out, poured it, and tasted it right away, and after he said it tastes like that, Called bullshit. Tasted it and went. Tastes like ashtray. This smells like Rockwell Farms meat, but tastes like Elmer T. Lee. I got the worst trade. This 
tastes more like this, but less impressive to me. Mm. Yeah. I, I cannot wait for a, a bloody taste test. We we do plan on getting. We're gonna get um, some blends. blends. We'll buy one of the ones left in town. That would be like a forty-five to sixty dollar. Yeah, we're not taking range. second-hand prices into this. We're, yeah, we're no. saying what we. No, because that is by far the most expensive. It's just a, a, a hint of that Elmer T. Lee. I can taste it. So you don't get that. Get a little banana right up front, like immediately, like a little bit. Yep. A little banana in that. there. Yeah, a little banana. Um. Like, I think that's like the, the fruit is right at the beginning and then the fruit goes away from me like immediately. Yeah. And then and it goes a little oak, little like a little spice yep. in there. I think- Probably uh, rye spice, realistically. Yeah, I was gonna say the rye is what uh, yeah. gets you in the finish. Yeah, I would say that this one tastes like a younger or maybe like less blends to me. It could be. That tastes like a easier, like less- The rye spice blend. is a very predominant taste. I yeah, and I get um, some of that in there. So when you cut that down and you lose more of the whiskey flavor, I think you're you might be picking up, you know. He said it felt it felt light, so it, it could be pretty watered down. Well, we're, that's what we were saying the other day. If, if your whiskey's not 100 proof, it's uh, whiskey flavored water. So this is whiskey flavored water. T-shirt incoming. Incoming. Legit. It's a weird how dry it is for how little alcohol is in it. Mm -hmm. If it was really high alcohol and it was that dry, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. For being is it 88? For being 80, so 89 proof basically, um, it doesn't really coat my mouth. The finish is okay. So final thoughts. Don't hate it. Okay. I would, if, if I lined up the four we've had, I would put El my good bottle of Elmer with Rock Hill at the very front. Oh wow. Okay. And then I would put Blanton's and this back behind those two. Okay. Um, so for me, I would put, obviously, I, I mean, I've already said that there's flavors in these I don't like. So these no. are back. And then I would put the Rock Hill up with the blends. So, not my favorite. Um, it, it just got a hint of that flavor for me that I don't really enjoy. I would agree that I actually enjoy the nose more than I enjoy the, the mouth, the old palate. Yeah. Um, the finish is pretty short, not super long, maybe like short to medium-ish. Yep. Uh, I would not pay $54 or $52 for that again. Uh, no, if we could find it at the MSRP, if that was 30, 30 bucks, bucks, that's, yeah, pick it up. Sounds good, dude. Yeah. Um, it's still for like 50. low proof for 50 though. Yes. If you can get Old Forest for uh, 100 proof, which is the orange label, that's $25. That is a solid $25 bottle of whiskey in, yep. or bourbon. And that comparatively, I would buy the Old Forest first. Without a doubt. Now that I think about it, there are several bottles that are around $30 I would buy before that. So we, I would go with a pass. Yeah, uh, for 50, I would definitely go for a pass. For 30, I would go with a, <laughs> is there Buffalo Trace uh, barrel picks? Because we've had two of those. Yeah. Both have been more, really good. What's probably. Elijah Craig running these days? Probably 30. 30-ish? Probably 30. Make that up first. Eagle Rare is probably 30. Yeah. Uh, Old Forester yeah, Orange is probably 30. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 25. Oof. Yeah. Well, you know what? You the more that. observant thing, and I don't I don't dislike it. It's something that you can put on your shelf. It, it shares a great lineage with um, other different it's bottles cool. on the, the same match though. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if nothing else, we have bottles on the shelf like this that just sit there for conversation um, and notoriety just to have it. And I to guess. give people that we don't like because that bottle's bad. Yeah. It the name reserve, mm -hmm. it's a perfect. Here's my analogy. Reserve bourbon. Reserve bourbon. I get the name. They're saying, oh, it's Presidential's Reserve, meaning like he kept it. And like, that's a big play in the yeah. old bourbon world. It's a reserved bourbon in the, in the case that it's not like, it's not going to punch you in the face. You're not going to drink and go, hoo, 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 hoo. you ever had it? It's not that. You're not going to drink and go, oh my, that is pond water. You're not going to do that either. Even though you did that a smidge. But it's, it's got it. It's in there. Uh, sits in there. I think you lurks. don't like the lot. Mm -hmm. I, at retail, would have other options for $30, 35. We'll call it retail 35 because I'm not 100%. Yep. I would buy something else. So for me, I gave it the C that we bought it once. I'm not upset by the buy, but I would probably never walk into a store, see it, and be excited that I'd have the opportunity to buy it again. I give her a C plus, actually. Mm -hmm. We're still doing plus and minuses here. Oh. I give her a C plus because I liked it, mm -hmm. but it's one of those things, and, I, and now that it's here, I'm not upset that, that it was purchased. Yeah. 
Um, the plus comes you in. Did like it a little bit more. The plus that comes in is that I do enjoy it. Yeah. I would never pay what I paid for it this time. The fifty-two dollars I wouldn't pay. No. Nope. But for thirty to thirty-five dollars, I would buy it, and I would think about buying it again because I enjoyed it. Oh, okay. To yeah. Probably. Right in there. Old Forester's probably getting harder to find. McKenna oh, really? is getting definitely about to get super hard to find. I don't know why they went ahead to go win things. Yeah. And so. Um, with those probably not around, this would be at, around that price range, one of the top yeah, ones. Yeah, okay. yeah, I would say. I respect it. Yeah, it was, uh, it's not bad. So. And that is Hancock's Reserve President. Something just like that. And Look at you know that. Why else, do they put it like hey, that? you know what else I don't like? Color. The name. Yeah. You know what else I good. don't like? The labeling. Actually, you know what? We're gonna spend 30 seconds to go this over this. This looks like the oldest, non-marketable label yeah. I've ever seen. Here's the other thing, yeah, interesting little tidbit about so this. So, from the, the back of this label, would it, would it be Hancock's Reserve President's? Yep. the front of the label, would it be Hancock's President's Reserve? Hancock's President's Reserve sounds better, it but does, on the back of the, the label, it reads Hancock's Reserve President's, which literally doesn't make sense. A fun tidbit about the old bourbon, this is uh, the only Buffalo Trace mash bill number two bourbon that is not marketed by Buffalo Trace. Yes. It is not on their website, and uh, I don't think they market it at all, actually, which makes, I think that that's part of what makes it harder to find. Uh, there's rumor that no, 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 like none of the resellers really know what it is. People don't really know what it is, so everybody knows what Blanton's is. Like, you can talk to a lot of people yeah. who don't drink a lot of bourbon. They'll see the cool round bottle, and see a cool label. And Buffalo Trace, I wouldn't tell people that's my Oh, wow. Oh, that's so <laughs> impressive. <laughs> oh, Somebody my. just watches me like Oh, Ooh. my gosh. And that is pure cups. Cups, cups, <laughs> Bill. Oh, yeah. Until next time. See you guys. <laughs> that. Dude. I wouldn't tell. <laughs>